Alright guys, it's Joe here, and so I got a nice little match of Kill Confirmed on Interchange. I'm using the barrel of Fidcal. And uh, fid, fi, 50 cal, ugh, 50 cal bullet from a fucking noob campus. 5mm got on your face like cancer or something like that. as lyrics to uh, uh, Drover Concept song that I think me and Jack used for a montage once. But um, in this video, I was going for clips and montages in this game. And uh, I don't think I get any. I get some good kills where I should have got clips. But unfortunately, my feed was moving too fast, so I actually count clips. But um, if you think any of the things I could use for, like, it's for the 7 challenge, uh, if you see any clips that you think I probably should use, please put them, put a time in the description. I'll look at it and I'll definitely probably use them because it's always good to have a bulk of clips. So, um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to talk about the gameplay in a bit. But first, I want to talk about the episode. I did a couple of weeks ago, I went to um, LMFAO, uh, the group, or band. Is it? I can't call it a band. For people, LMFA, and uh, it, it was brilliant. It was one of the best gigs I've ever been to, and it it's rejuvenated my love of live music and the fact that I want to go see more bands live. Um, in my uh, tween years, I went to see a lot of bands live. Um, I went to see Avenged Sevenfold, Bullet from Valentine, uh, Lost Profits, Taking Back Sunday, just to name a few. And Shikari, and Shikari were brilliant, but um, I could go on all day about what bands I've seen live. But uh, oh, Prodigy. Pendulum, Chase and Status, um, they were really good. So I was doing a lot of bands live, and it's always a really good thing. And it's, if you haven't ever gone to see any group or band or anything live, go see it. Um, even if it's just a DJ doing a set, it's brilliant. No matter what music you like, there's always live music, and it's just so good. It's, it's something you don't get with recording music. Um, you get an atmosphere and a really good atmosphere of where you just, you just get lost in it and just dance like a beast. And um, that's what I do. I just jump up and down and try and bust out shapes but it never works uh, there's also always, there's always a really good move but I can't actually I can't show you obviously but um it's called it's called pointing or as I've dubbed it pointing it's, you literally just you just point in the air just point randomly uh, you look like a dick but uh, it's a good good little move and there's also a sprinkler like I remember um, someone in my school always used to do a sprinkler that's uh, just uh, horrendous he was a legend he was anyway but yeah, live music, go see it, it's insane. LMFA were really good. One of one of the best bands I've seen live, or one of the best groups I've seen live. For the main reason, they got the crowd going, and it was really good to dance to. And oh, it was so warm. Like, when you go to concerts inside, it's so warm, it's ridiculous. Like, you're just sweating. Sweating like a pedo, mother care, it's ridiculous. Um, it was, like, so warm, it was raining. Uh, there was a gig once in Wolverhampton, where uh, I live near, and it literally rained. Like it was raining inside, of just sweat dripping from the roof, which is vile, but it was it's ridiculous. And um, so yeah, when I was there, it was really warm. There was a girl next to me. Oh, actually, there was two girls of note that I will talk about. One first first girl. Um, that should have been a clip. That should have totally been a clip. Anyway, his first girl. I was dancing, and uh, she, it was really warm, so obviously she was sweating, and I was sweating too. Uh, so she she was like hands in the air, jumping up and down, and I was I was there jumping up and down, and her shoulder, her like where her arm was was rubbing on my shoulder the whole time after she left I had just like a wet sweaty patch all along my shoulder of her sweat rubbing up against me I was just like drenched moistened from all this dancing and it was vile I was just like this is beautiful this is just what I want to see a girl sweating all over me you know there's, there's only one time you want a girl to be sweating all over you and uh, that's in a sauna no it's just it's not then it's not that that was horrible and there was another girl and she she was dressed a bit a bit like a lady of the night, a bit like a hooker. Um, she had like leopard leopard spot like uh, leggings on. She was wearing stilettos, which is ridiculous to wear when you're jumping up and down. Anyway, she was bending over to pick something up. She started grinding me doing it. I was just like, wow, this is really weird. And I was like, I am not I am not comfortable with this. I need I need an adult. I need a parent. And then um, she got back up and was just like, oh oh hi. It was like cool. So I was dancing around her for a bit. That just that sounds like I was just trying to get her attention. Just like look at me get. Give my attention, get my attention. But uh, I wasn't. So um, that happened. And then she trod on my foot with stilettos. And that is the most painful experience of your life if that ever happens. It's worse than childbirth. It's so painful, it's untrue. It just hurt so much. And she just trod on my foot, and I was just like, fuck, fuck. Jesus Christ. So I, I started to cry from that. And uh, it, was, it, was, it was a good cry. Very good cry. So, uh, so yeah. And then I got a t shirt from that concert, which is brilliant. Um, it says sexy and I know it on it. And it's it's a hilarious t shirt that I will always wear forever and ever. Going out, I will always wear that t shirt. And I wore it to a friend's party. And uh, I went downstairs to get a, a cup for my beverage because you always got to mix um, spirits with some energy drinks. So uh, that's my that's always my plan. 
Um, I can't I can't stand cider or beer, so I just stick to I stick stick that I stick to vodka, some vodka and a uh, Red Bull or Monster. That's that's generally the drink of kings. So um, anyway, I get a glass, and uh, I hear I hear his mum say to his sister. He was not sexy in my name, so she read my t-shirt when I walked past her, and I was just I just heard this, and I was like, I don't, okay, I don't know what to say here. I need to think of something really witty and hilarious, and I just I couldn't think of anything, so I was like, okay, there's only one thing, one thing a man can say at this moment. So I just walked past her, looked at her, okay, I heard what you said about me, and uh, that was very hurtful, I'm very offended, and just walked off. And I, that was literally the best thing I could think of. Uh, probably wasn't the best, but... Uh, it got my message across. She she was offended. She she was embarrassed by it. So uh, I was glad. I was glad I said that. And that showed her how dare she say that to me. So um, yeah, that's enough about my little stories. Uh, I'm gonna quickly talk about the gameplay. This is like really fast, action-packed gameplay for the memory for the main reason. I was going for clips, and you play differently when you go for clips. You're just running at them, trying to trying to poop on the noobs, and hoping that you'll get a kill. And uh, I get some potentials, but nothing brilliant. I thought I'd use this as a gameplay because it's pretty fast-paced and it's pretty it's quickish for a game, and uh, it's quite enjoyable, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's that's the main reason I used it, and uh, that's about it, really. That's that's all I want to say on that matter. I think right about now I might go for a spam feed and just fail miserably. I'm not really good at them. I just muster no skill of spamming the trigger. Um, but yeah, I mean, going for clips is a is a is a difficult business, if you will. It's very hard to get, and it's something that is very frustrating, but rewarding at the same time. Also, I just seem to get hit markers for days, and I don't know why. I think it might be here where I go for spam. Yeah, look at that. Look at that spam. Just I'm a beast. I'm a bloody bloody animal. I am. Oh no, it's here. This is where I go for spam. It's just embarrassing. Look at this. Hideous. Absolutely hideous. I only get one kill. Uh. So uh, yeah, that's that's about it. Really, the game's nearly over. I think I just call him a pretty, and uh, call it a day after that, or I die. I probably die. Uh, do I die? I don't. Know. Who cares? Literally, who gives a shit? So uh, if you guys have enjoyed this, please let me know. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Leave a like and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in a bizzle. Fifty for seventeen.